All right, guys, so we gotta go out and catch some bait fish today. We're preparing for ice fishing. Now, it's not time to ice fish right now. We got about another two, three weeks before the lakes and ponds are safe enough. But my brother, Peter, he's got a secret fishing spot that we're gonna be going to, and we're gonna trap these bait fish. Yep, uh, this is just a standard crawfish minnow trap, whatever you wanna call them. You can get them at Walmart, wherever. We're gonna put a GoPro in here so you guys will see the fish come inside. And that when they go through there, they can't come back out, right? Yep, we're gonna use a little bit of dog food and bread for bait. Um, <laughs> <laughs> normally I do an overnight soak, but we're not gonna have enough time. We're, we're gonna set it for a few hours and hopefully we'll do all right. Now these things, uh, the, the minnows and shinies that we catch, we gotta keep them alive. Yes, so we're actually gonna have to be building a tank today. Uh, I'm just gonna get a big 100 uh, gallon stock tank. And we're also gonna have to build a filter out of a five gallon bucket. I've done it a few times before, but those ones all got <laughs> thrown away on my old one. Yeah, guys, so at our old house when we were younger, Peter, he took one of those rectangle freezers, you know, something like a hoarder would go out and buy a bunch of frozen food and leave it there for like two years, AKA my grandmother. <laughs> And then the food would be all bad. Yeah, like one of those hoarder freezers. And he hooked up um, the filter and everything and had tons of shiners in our garage for a while. Yep, so we're gonna get going and we're gonna figure out how to mount a GoPro on this and hopefully get some fish. All right, so I kind of jury rigged this on there. I got uh, two zip ties and if I shake it about, it's, it's not gonna really move. 10 out of 10? Yeah, I mean, you might wanna do one going across and then you're good. <laughs> we don't lose these, right? I mean, eh. It happens. Sometimes they pull apart, but we'll zip tie this one together so we don't lose half. All right, so this is the half and this is the half, and then we gotta like, yeah, let's not lose it. <laughs> we got it. So the reason why we haven't had too many videos on the channel is because it gets dark at like three o'clock. And by the time I'm done working, it's just pitch black. And he's taken forever, okay? We were supposed to record- You showed up two and a half hours late. I did show up two and a half hours late, but he's like running around his house, cleaning stuff. I'm just sitting in the car waiting. But anyways, we're gonna get going. I think he's almost done, um, but we're gonna go catch some bait fish. It's gonna be great. And then we're gonna keep them alive by making the fish tank, um, hopefully keep them alive. I think Peter may let them die. I, I won't let that happen though. He's just got like a Pepsi sitting in his yard. Who would drink Pepsi instead of Coke? He wasn't joking, the, the bait's gonna actually be bread. Yeah, the chihuahua food was too small. Chihuahua food. I was gonna put some dog food in it, but the they're too small at kibble pieces. <laughs> All right, well, you should have waited till the stuff gets moldy or like, I don't know. Not, don't waste some good bread on some minnows. So this is like a top, top secret spot. You don't want anybody to know. It's probably one of the better spots you'll ever find in the state, so yeah. I'm gonna have to check my phone, like the, check the GPS. He's gonna have me like blindfolded. What's this guy doing? He's on the side there. Oh, he's going hunting? Yeah, he's gearing up. We're gonna catch some bait fish, and then afterwards, we're gonna keep these things alive. You're not gonna let them die, right? Oh, oh I gotta buckle up, hold up. Gotta stay safe. Here in New Hampshire, you actually don't need to buckle up. That's why we say live free or die. That's our state motto. Um, but yeah, all the cars are from like Massachusetts, so they keep beeping at us until you buckle up. So better stay safe than sorry. So here in New Hampshire, we're only allowed uh, six traps per person. Peter's got five of them, so we're gonna be fine. Um, he also is all baited on the first trap. Yeah, we're just gonna go with a little bit of bread today. Toss her out. So they're actually gonna eat their bread. Oh yeah, and uh, ideally I'd have a trap that doesn't have any holes in it, and I'd purge them, letting them poop it all out before I put them in my bait tank. But mm. fortunately, not gonna have that option today, but it should be fine with that filter we're gonna build. All right, let's get this GoPro started. Yo guys, so look at the top right of that. The GoPro is dead. <laughs> I charged it. Uh, the other batteries are all the way up there. So you set the other traps, you'll take over the camera duty. I'll go uh, get some more batteries. I should have brought the bag with me. That's yeah. my fault. I came back with the batteries. It's all hooked up. He's just got to toss it in him right now. Can you uh, do me a favor and go get one of those zip ties? Uh, up in the car? No. <laughs> I'm not gonna, oh, one of these zip ties? All right, yeah, yeah. Unlike you, I prepared, I brought them. So we, won't, we don't want the thing to split and then this half come back with us and that half be stuck in the mud. <laughs> That'd be pretty bad. Yeah, no, that would not be good. Little safety measure with the extra zip tie. Not gonna go too far with this one. 
I think I just heard a duck too, so <laughs> better well, put away that bread. <laughs> They're gonna go snag up those traps. All right, come right out here. I got a spot for this one. So this is trap number three, guys. Um, he's gonna toss it in right now. Oh. First one we dropped over there, second one, now about 15 feet the other way, and we got the third one I'll put in. All right, one more to go. Wait, we only have four traps? We brought five, but I only brought four clips, so. <laughs> four clips, okay. So the other one, I think we're gonna put on the opposite side, probably towards the beginning where we walked in. All right, guys, we're just gonna check this one on the way out. This is the first one we set. It's maybe been 10 minutes, so I'm not expecting any, but you know. Right, I got five bucks on nothing. <laughs> Yep, nothing. I thought this was a secret spot, man. Yeah, you know, we should have had Hawaiian bread. <laughs> That's the problem. You got the white bread or maybe wheat. They might like wheat better. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just farming out here. <laughs> this thing's way too long. So we actually did see somebody else has their line over there on that tree. So your spot's no, not so secret anymore. That happens. All right, this is the last one we're dropping out. This is number four. Can we get a stick? So what's the plan, Stan? Off to the store, gotta get a bait tank. The tank's gonna be about 100 gallons, so it should be perfect to keep these fish alive. Pick up your trash, guys. Come on, it's not that hard. Let's get some fish. All right, I'm feeling a little nervous. This is number two. Number two, man. So far, it's not working out. We're gonna have to go buy some bait fish. We can't buy bait fish. <laughs> oh. Nothing. Crap. Crap, bro. Uh, Th that was the one you thought was gonna have something, too. Oh, no, it's got one. Oh, it does? It's not even a shiner, though. It's a sunfish. We gotta throw him back. See him a little flipping flopping? Not even a shiner. All right, so this one's just like a little baby bluegill or sunfish. Um, and we actually can't use these for bait in New Hampshire, so I have to let them go. Poor little guy. We got two more tries. I'm confident. Come on, Peter, we got this. Dude, I mean, my record from this place is 400 fish in a single trap, so. What? Over 400 fish. So this is not looking good. In a single trap? Yeah. It may be fished out. A few more sunfish, but no shiners. Oh yeah, we actually, uh, this is the one with the camera, so maybe we got some good shots in there. Yeah. So we actually forgot to bring the scissors to cut the zip tie, so he's trying to use a key. There's one. One, another sunfish. Yep. And then there's one more as well. He's behind all the bread. How was there a stick in there, what? That was just a little guy. Little there guy. he is, here he goes. That's the tiniest one of the day. <laughs> Alright, that's our last shot. There's, there's a chance, man. There's a lot of fish in here, and uh, it's just a matter of if the school, you know, swam around our traps during that time, and they haven't been sitting for too long, so. Yeah, they've only been sitting for like about two hours. It seems like a crazy transition because it's so pitch black right now. Oh! Sunfish. Sunfish again. Yep. He's like way back there. So that's number five of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we skunked. I don't know what to say. We're gonna have to come back sometime next week then. Try yeah. again. How long do you usually let them sit? Uh, you know, full 24 hours, so I mean. Yeah, no. I mean, sometimes they'll eat in the morning, sometimes they'll eat at night, and there, there, there's like a couple big schools that just swim around the pond, and they just didn't happen to go by this, so. <laughs> yeah, guys, it's like three o'clock right now. <laughs> Freaking New Hampshire, bro. Let's go home and uh, set up that tank so we can fill it up next week. So we're back at Peter's house and we gotta go set up that fish tank. We did get skunk on the shiners, but we'll be back next week. But we have to have a home for them to survive in. So what do you got here? Well, we're gonna start off by making the filter. It's very, very simple. All you gotta do is have a five gallon bucket, some dollar store sponges, break the bank there. <laughs> you got sponges, all right. And then uh, you're gonna want, it's called polyfill. It's basically the stuff that's inside little pillows and stuff like that. No, dude, this stuff, 
is inside the toys Captain uh, Captain needs yes, all the time. Ex exactly. Yeah, that's so, that stuff. Five gallon bucket. We're gonna drill some holes, and then at the bottom layer, we're gonna have the sponges, right? Yeah. So well, first thing we're gonna do is open up all these sponges and just dump them right in the bottom. This is. Like it's got a lot of surface area, so this is where all the bacteria grows. That's actually gonna help filter out all the ammonia and nitrates. All right, so we just put in the 10 packages of uh, dollar store sponges, that should be plenty. Now what we're gonna do is take this uh, polyfill and we're just gonna cut out circles so it'll fit snug inside of there. And ideally, I would have like an HVAC uh, filter. You can get them at Walmart or anywhere, but, um, and just cut a circle that'll go on top of that too, and that'll get like the bigger stuff out. So this filter will keep the tank nice and clean. Um, usually when the fish digest their food, that's when it gets really dirty. All right, there's the first one. We're gonna do a few of these, and yeah, we're just gonna literally plop it right on top of that. Doesn't have to be perfect. We're gonna do multiple layers, so as long as it gets most of it. All right, so right now I'm taking this five gallon bucket cover and uh, we're just gonna make a small hole on top for our pump to go into. So basically what's gonna happen is we're gonna have our pump in the water. It's gonna pump it up to the top, go through our filter, it's gonna come down and we're going to want to put our holes that it's going to be uh, coming out of somewhere up here. We want a little bit of water to be staying in on those sponges to create that bacteria that's gonna help clean up the water. But well, while we're doing that, we might as well start filling up the bait tank. So we got this hose right here. We're testing out the pump just to make sure it works because I haven't used it in five years in a bucket. Seems to work. Hose is a little dirty, but I can get a new one of those. Yeah, that hose is super dirty, man. Here, you want to go take this inside and let me know when you're ready. What type of hose is this? It's strange. Yeah, I'm good, man. There actually is like a release, so you can release all the water. Um, Peter's gonna make sure he doesn't accidentally hit this. Yeah. 100 gallons of water would fly out if this little thing came off. Just watch where you're walking and you don't kick that thing off. Are you done stabbing that thing yet? Pretty much, it's gonna make a hole on the top. Oh, uh, you gotta stab a hole on the top. It's actually working out pretty well. Minus the danger of putting your hand next to a giant knife and putting all your weight down. If you guys are enjoying these Owen Outdoor videos, please hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. We're gonna be coming out with more fishing videos, more outdoor videos. I'm gonna be using the tractor, I think in the next one. I got a brand new attachment for it. It's gonna be sweet. Can't wait to show you guys what it does. We didn't fill it up completely, but I think that's enough water for now. To at least show you guys and test it. Look at this kid with the knife. Instead of getting a screwdriver, he's... <laughs> does your girlfriend know that you're doing this with the knife? Yeah, probably not, dude. Whatever works. Probably not, yeah. All right, so we just finished it all, guys. We just have to turn it on. Peter, have the honors. Yeah, I guess it is a blessing we didn't get any shiners today because this hose is not working with us. Dude, and look it's how frozen. Nasty. Yeah. It's so nasty. <laughs> it's frozen in that position and it's like messing the whole thing up. It's nasty. I'm just going to turn it on real quick to show you guys how it works and that's it. All right. So, should be filling up the bucket now. Getting the, the sponges are starting to get wet and it should start coming out the holes. It's kind of coming out the hole right now. Oh, there we go. I just need to fill up. So the water's actually creating oxygen as well when it hits the water and creating those bubbles and stuff. So it's cleaning the water, putting oxygen back but it's also making my thing disgusting because of that hose, so <laughs> we need to uh, fix that. Dude, isn't your child, your, your newborn baby, yeah, soon gonna be to be no, newborn baby gonna be over there? Yep. This might wake him up. I'll put him to sleep. It could put him to sleep, it could be therapeutic. All right guys, thanks so much for watching this Owen Outdoor video. Like I said before, if you enjoy these videos, please hit that thumbs up. It tells us we're doing a good job. We may have gotten skunked, 
Well, technically not skunk, because we caught five tiny sunfish. So we didn't get skunk, but we didn't get what we wanted. Next time, I'm 100% guaranteeing we're gonna get at least 5,000 shiners. 5,000. Maybe, maybe 50? All right, 50 shiners. That's our goal for next time. We'll get it done.